Welcome, dear traveller, to the sprawling savannas of the Barrens. As we journey through these golden grasslands and lush oases, I, the lawmaster of this region, will accompany you across its untamed wilderness. Together, we shall uncover its history and lore, and discover the secrets of this eventful territory. Long before the desolation that now defines it, the land was a thriving realm, rich with life and verdant forests, and it was the cherished home of the Kaldori, the graceful night elves. Situated in this lush expanse, the night elf settlements thrived, united by their harmonious relationship with nature. These lands knew no oceanic borders. They were a sanctuary where all manner of creatures flourished. Yet this idyllic existence was forever altered by the Great Sundering, a cataclysmic event that shattered the continent of Kalimdor. The Sundering sank vast swathes of land beneath the unforgiving sea, and the once flourishing paradise gave way to the arid, sun-baked expanse now known as the Barrens. The vibrant forests yielded to dry grasslands, and the region turned hostile. Eons later, destiny called forth another chapter in the land's history. Thrall, the resolute war chief of the Horde, received a prophetic vision while amidst the Arathi Highlands. Guided by this revelation, he set sail for Kalimdor, the legendary land of promise. As the Horde's ships landed upon the shores of the Barrens, their paths intertwined with that of the venerable Tauren leader, Cairn Bloodhoof. Wise and sagacious, Cairn saw potential in Thrall's journey, urging him towards the Oracle, a beacon of guidance in the land's north. Dire tidings emerged, and marauding bands of Centaur threatened both the Tauren and Orcish faction. Thrall's pledge of aid forged a pact, and united by a common enemy, they fought against the Centaur onslaught. Triumphant, the Tauren joined the Horde, giving rise to outposts and watchtowers across the Barrens. In the heart of this transformed realm, the crossroads became a village of trade and exploration, symbolizing newfound unity between Orc and Tauren. Guard towers pierced the skyline, their presence a testament to the enduring camaraderie that had emerged from shared struggle. The Barrens, once marked by desolation, now radiated with the pulse of civilization once again. The Tauren, guardians of the West, held steadfast over their cherished Mulgor, while the Orcs and Trolls nurtured Orgrimmar to the east in Durotar. This vast, now essential stretch of land became the vital thread connecting these two centers of Horde strength, a lifeline of transportation and cooperation. But within the Baron's bosom, a deeper struggle brewed. The Cenarian Circle's druids, led by the visionary Naralex, set out on a mission to heal the blighted Wailing Caverns, seeking to rejuvenate the land from its harsh desolation into its former emerald splendor. Across the road to the south, the shadowy presence of the Razorfen Downs and Razorfen Kraal, tainted by the Scourge, cast their shadow over the land, threatening all who tread the Thousand Needles pathway. The Barrens are not a realm unchallenged. Humans from Theramore have made their presence known, claiming Northwatch Hold as a bastion of defense, countering the Horde's rule of the land. Dwarven miners and builders from Ironforge etched their legacy near the Titan excavation site of Bale Modan, a bulwark named Bale Dun Keep. Amid this conflict, the goblin Port Ratchet, led by the resourceful Gazlo, acts as a neutral node of commerce in this war-torn land. Today, young travelers stand at the threshold of this harsh grassland. The name Barrens carries the weight of time, holding stories of cataclysmic upheavals and unbreakable alliances. As you tread this rugged terrain, keep in mind that the past is not all that defines this place. It pulses with a vibrant present. So come, embrace the tales that the Barrens whisper and the mysteries that it guards, for your journey is just beginning, and this land holds its secrets close. The Barrens is one of Azeroth's largest areas, a land of many dimensions and contrasting terrain. Situated in central Kalimdor, 
The Barrens is surrounded by an array of neighboring zones, each with its own distinctive characteristics and opportunities. Its dusty trails branch out to Duratar, Ashenvale, the Stone Talon Mountains, Mulgore, Thousand Needles and Dustwallow Marsh. Embarking east across the sea even brings adventurers to Stranglethorn Vale, accessible by boat via the neutral ports of Ratchet and Booty Bay. Its flatlands dominate, punctuated sporadically by hills that rise from the flat ground. The climate here is a master of extremes, subjecting the land to the embrace of unyielding heat. Nonetheless, life persists, nurtured by the presence of precious oases that offer a respite from the otherwise arid air and soil. This landscape, both unforgiving and resilient, is bordered by an assortment of surroundings. To the east, the coastline brushes against the land, while mountains rise majestically in the northwest, trapping the heated air that births the winds that gust across these plains. While the plains themselves can seem barren, the hidden water sources and oases nurture a unique variety of plants, subtly kept flourishing by the oasis water's touch. The wildlife is as diverse as the land itself, adapted to the harsh conditions that shape their existence. The plains, despite their dryness, are not devoid of life. Among the scrub trees and dusty winds, an array of creatures persevere. Through countless generations, the Tauran have traversed these plains, tracking the formidable Kodo, Cheetahs and Jevra that grace the land. Furthermore, the sightings of large beasts such as lions and thunder lizards hint at the coexistence of predators and prey, each finely attuned to survival in this challenging environment. The mesas of the northern region are watched over by harpies, fierce and territorial avian creatures that perch atop these elevated vantage points. Their presence adds an element of aerial danger to an already inhospitable landscape. The savage centaur haunt the canyons and riverbanks of the barrens. Their warbands stretch across the landscape, venturing as far as the river that divides Duratar from the barrens. In their brutality, even trade caravans and innocent lives fall victim to their thirst for violence. In the barrens' southeastern expanse, the Quillbore have marked their presence. Erecting the fortress of Razor Fen Downs, a crude yet sprawling complex that harbors their primal society within. Amidst these threats and challenges, the barons remain a crossroads of interest, drawing both alliance and horde, as well as native Kalimdor races. Trade routes like the Gold Road weave their way through this unforgiving territory, hinting at untold riches and forgotten relics awaiting those brave enough to seek them. More often than not, the crowded paths resound with lively talks as adventurers from diverse races and backgrounds convene in what would come to be known as Baron's Chat. Tales from far and wide are openly discussed, and the mere utterance of Chuck Norris sets off an avalanche of every Chuck Norris joke ever crafted. Despite the harshness of its environment, the Barrens carry stories that whisper of resilience, unity, and the indefatigable spirit that treads its land. As you step into the vast region of the Barrens, a rugged and untamed land stretching between the serene plains of Mulgor to the west and the harsh desolation of Duratar to the east, our first destination is the Crossroads, the largest horde town in the Barrens. This junction has become a melting pot of cultures and stories where traders, adventurers and refugees from all walks of life converge. Travelers and explorers are drawn in by following the main gold road that stretches across the north-south of the Barrens and the road from Ratchet in the east, leading all the way to the Stone Talon Mountains in the west. Many of its citizens are hard-working folk who have settled in this precarious land, building their livelihoods around the comings and goings of travellers. Just outside the crossroads encampment, we find Mankrik, a warrior seeking an adventurer's aid to uncover the fate of his wife, Olgra. By tracing a trail south from the crossroads, the explorers stumble upon a tragic scene. Mankrik's wife, a brave orc warrior, lies fallen in battle with the quill boars, her armor shattered. Returning to Mankrik, the adventurers deliver the somber truth, deepening his grief. 
Fueled by a relentless hatred for the Quillbores, Mankrik tasks the adventurers with slaying these creatures, collecting their tusks as symbols of vengeance. Mankrik's relentless anger transforms him into a force of destruction and his thirst for revenge seems insatiable. The brave helpers continue their partnership, driving the campaign against the Quillbores to new heights. No longer able to bear this turmoil, we come across Marka, a compassionate presence, and she intervenes, urging Mankrik to relinquish his hatred. At Firestone Point, she invites him to sit beside her, and from her vantage point, they observe the senseless conflict between the Horde and Alliance. She points out the destructive nature of hatred, particularly evident in Mankrik's quest for revenge against the Quillbore. Marka recognizes that his anger is causing more harm than healing. It is at this moment that Marka tries to guide Mankrik towards a different path, urging him to let go of his blade and the all-consuming hatred. She tells him that seeking escape through violence is not the same as seeking glory, but instead it's a form of self-destructive behavior. She appeals to his humanity, revealing that there are people in the world who care about him and would be devastated by his passing. Mankrik, though resistant at first, eventually relents. Maka's words touch his heart, and he acknowledges the weight of his hatred that has burdened him for years. He agrees to sit with her and find respite, even if only momentarily. Their exchange ends with Mankrik's gratitude, a powerful moment of vulnerability and the promise of a possible path to healing. As the conflict against the Quillbore rages on across various corners of the Barrens, Mankrik finds solace in his grief and we step aside from the ongoing onslaught. In the northeast corner of the Barrens lies the infamous Sludge Fen. This oil-soaked area has a history as murky as the muck that blankets its landscape. Once a serene wetland teeming with wildlife, the Fen's transformation began when the ambitious venture company set their sights on it. Eager to tap into the vast oil reserves beneath the swampy surface, the venture company swiftly established a foothold in the area, heralding an era of industrialization that would forever alter the Fen's tranquility. Tinkerer Sniggles, a brilliant yet morally ambiguous inventor, is the mastermind behind the technological advancements that allowed the extraction of oil from the Fen's depths. Under his guidance, the pristine wetland quickly succumbed to the invasive machinery of progress. Foreman Grills, a ruthless and calculating overseer, manages the labor force that toiled day and night to siphon the oil. His stern demeanor masked a shrewd intellect that kept the operation running with utmost efficiency. Engineer Whirligig, on the other hand, is the imaginative architect behind the sprawling platforms and pipelines that scarred the Fen's surface. Despite the destruction they wrought, Whirligig harbors a conflicted conscience as he witnessed the irreversible ecological impact of his creations. As adventurers, it is your duty to tread into the grounds of Sludge Fen and face not only the hazards of the landscape itself, but the threat of retaliation from the venture company's employees. These workers, known for their cowardice in direct combat, will frantically call for reinforcements at the first sign of danger. The tale of Sludge Fen has become one of goblin ambition, ecological recklessness, and the clash between nature and industrial might. Moving south from the Sludge Fens, a new settlement beckons on the merchant coast, where the salty breeze mingles with the promise of uncharted territories. Welcome to Ratchet, a goblin-built port, proudly showcasing the art of opportunism. It was the goblins who lent their craft to Thrall and the Horde during the construction of Orgrimmar, and now, under the leadership of Gazlo, they command Ratchet's bustling affairs. After the Third War and the construction of Orgrimmar, Gazlo had decided to make his mark on this continent. Ratchet emerged as a haven for outcasts and adventurers alike, harboring many different cultures and ambitions thanks to the efforts of smugglers and those everyday society had turned away. Nonetheless, Ratchet's shores are no stranger to troubles, and the goblins, though masters of innovation and commerce, find themselves facing a challenge that even their cunning can't completely mitigate. 
The South Sea Freebooters, a band of pirates, have made the southern part of the Merchant Coast their base of operations, casting a shadow over this otherwise lively town. With their appetite for plunder, they've taken a liking to intercepting shipments bound for ratchet from the overseas Booty Bay. It falls on the shoulders of those brave enough to lend a hand and aid the goblins of Ratched as they confront the challenges that lay ahead. Journeying along the coast, the horizon gradually unveils the silhouette of Northwatch Hold, a massive alliance fortress bordering the murky realm of Dustwallow Marsh. Echoes of history whisper through its weathered stone walls, a relic of the devastating conflicts that scarred the land. Strategically positioned, the fortress exerts its dominance over the northern approach to Dustwallow Marsh, compelling any hostile horde incursion to navigate treacherous marshlands if they dare to assail Theramore Isle. Crowning the mountain upon which Northwatch Hold is perched, two sentinel scout towers survey the land, while a mystical scrying stone maintains swift communication with Theramore. Adventurers are drawn to a tale of rivalry and vengeance amidst the clash of warring factions. At the heart of this tale stand two captains, each with their own aspirations and vendettas. Captain Fairmount, a resolute human leader commanding the Theramore forces from the North Watch Hold, found herself perched atop the First Tower. The Zealots under her command had interfered with the trade routes on open sea, sinking ships and imprisoning the blood elf Giltharis Firebow. This elven survivor of a sunken moonshine transport was confined to a tower within Northwatch Hold. Meanwhile, in Ratchet, Captain Thalothus Brightsun reigned over the Thaladan privateers, aligned with the Steamweedle Cartel. Brightson nursed a deep-seated grudge against Fairmount, fueled by the loss of his own ships to her trigger-happy forces. As the winds of fate would have it, Brightson found an unlikely ally in Giltharis Firebow, who managed to escape the keep and his captors with the aid of a few horde explorers. Brightson made her fervent plea known to strike back at Fairmount's forces, seeking to silence her cannons and retrieve medals as a retribution to the lives lost. Their shared desire for vengeance united them, and Brightson and Giltharis dispatched the Horde adventurers driven by the promise of reward to assault Northwatch Hold. Moving south along the Gold Road, we come across the enchanting Lushwater Oasis, an entrance to the mysterious Wailing Caverns, a place shrouded in legends and danger. The treacherous caverns earned their haunting name from the eerie, mournful wails that echoed through the land, caused by steam fissures venting from below ground. It was a night elf druid named Narelex who first stumbled upon this place, captivated by the potential to restore the barrens to its former lush beauty, lost to the cataclysmic Great Sundering. Narelex's intentions were noble, yet fate had darker designs. As he sought to harness the underground springs within the caverns for his rejuvenating vision, something went horribly wrong. The tranquil waters turned malevolent, and the creatures dwelling within were transformed into menacing beasts. Within the twisting labyrinth of the caverns, whispers spoke of the druids of the Fang, the very disciples of Naralex, now corrupted by the caverns' maleficence. Rumors even circulated that Naralex himself remained trapped within this nightmarish maze. Between the oasis's lush palm trees and swaying reeds, a silent struggle unfolds. Kolkar Centaur, their eyes gleaming with predatory intent, move stealthily between the trees, eager to claim their prey. Wild beasts, oblivious to the lurking danger, approach the waters to quench their thirst, only to fall victim to the centaur's pursuit. For the daring anglers among you, lush water oasis holds another allure, its proximity to both the Wailing Caverns and the Bustling Crossroads makes it a favoured spot for those seeking the elusive Deviate Fish. This rare catch is the key ingredient in the beloved recipe for savoury Deviate Delight, a dish rumoured to bestow curious and temporary transformations upon those who partake. Moving further south into the Barrens, the mighty Bale Moden Fortress stands tall, a symbol of Dwarven resilience. 
Its towering walls fortify a colossal cannon, and beneath the parched earth lies an ancient titan complex shrouded in mystery, promising untold relics and long-forgotten knowledge. The land, however, wasn't always the dominion of the dwarves. Once, it was sacred ground for the stone spire Tauren. General Twinbraid's cunning mind governs the defences of Baeldun Keep, perched on high ground, its gaze unwaveringly fixed upon the excavation site. Beneath the surface, tension simmers, a result of past conflicts between the dwarves and the native Tauren. The dwarves' relentless excavation, including the use of explosives on lands sacred to the Tauren, has led to bloodshed and the destruction of the Tauren's ancestral village. Gan Stonespire, a Tauren who once sought diplomacy, now seeks revenge, enlisting horde adventurers to take up arms against the dwarves. Furthermore, an eccentric dwarf known as Feigli the Exiled tells a somber tale. Feigli used to be a renowned digger in the excavation sites of Baal Modan, but he had been cast out by the envious general Twinbraid. The cause of this strife was the fabled Tear of the Moons, a mysterious gem that had been unearthed within the depths of the quarry. Its beauty and power had been a thing of legend among the diggers, and Feigli desires it above all else. In the present day, Feigli approaches horde adventurers, desperation palpable in his voice. He tasks them with a single mission, retrieve the Tear of the Moons, confined within a locker in the keep, guarded by General Twinbraid, who deems it cursed. His eyes gleam with unquenchable desire as he recounts his obsession with the precious jewel. As the adventurers fight their way into the keep of Baal the Tear's history and power weigh heavily upon them. With its recovery, Feigli's jubilation knows no bounds as he cradles the artifact with maniacal glee. Yet, as he revels in its power, a strange transformation befalls him. Unable to withstand his insatiable thirst for power, the Tear of the Moon shatters into fragments. The gem, once a symbol of wonder and mystique, becomes an instrument of downfall for Feigli, now twisted into a trog. Shortly thereafter, the precious stone's power becomes Feigli's demise, his appearance unrecognizable, and his final words indecipherable, fading into the whispering winds. Nestled within the rocky embrace of the southern region lies the Raptor Grounds. This secluded valley is a mystery within a mystery. Here the sunscale raptors thrive, a breed set apart from their kin by their unnatural intelligence. They are far from the mindless beasts most adventurers expect, for they have evolved not only to adapt to their harsh environment, but also to harness it. In this barren realm, the sunscale raptors have become builders, constructing simple huts and crafting primitive tools from the resources at their disposal. These cunning creatures are drawn to shiny objects and anything out of the ordinary, and their curiosity has earned them a reputation as thieves among the Horde settlements nearby. The residents of Northwatch Hold to the east live in constant vigilance, guarding their precious supplies against the nimble-fingered raptors. But for the Horde adventurers who dare to venture into the raptor grounds, the mystery of these intelligent raptors presents both a challenge and an opportunity. What secrets do these curious creatures hold? Can their intelligence be harnessed for the Horde's benefit, or will it lead to unforeseen consequences? As brave souls enter the Raptor Grounds, they can't help but wonder what discoveries lie hidden within this tiny valley waiting to be uncovered. As our journey is coming to an end, there is a path yet to thread. A mysterious passage through the depths of Razorfen Crowl and Razorfen Downs that should not be left unexplored. Deep within the thorny embrace of the ancestral home of the Quillbore lies a tale of ancient origins and power, Razorfen Crowl. Long ago, during the tumult of the War of the Ancients, Agamagan, a mighty demigod, turned up to confront the Burning Legion. But despite his valiant efforts, the colossal boar met his end in the battle's fury. Without his efforts, the world of Azeroth would have crumbled into chaos. From the very soil infused with his life essence, thorn-covered vines erupted. 
The quill boar, believed to be the mortal offspring of the powerful god, came to occupy these regions and hold them sacred. In those lands, known as the Razor Fen, the very core of their thorn-cloaked settlements thrived. Yet, a shadow fell upon the quill boar as the old witch, Chalga Razorflank, wrested dominion over the Razor Fen Kraal. Under her leadership, the shamanic quill boar expelled the Tauren from the southern barons and launched merciless attacks against their rival tribes and even horde settlements. And more disturbing still, rumors tell of Chalga's motives taking a darker turn. A potential alliance with the Scourge, binding her unsuspecting tribe to the grasp of the undead. She eventually molded the Thorn Dome of Razor Fen Downs, showcasing her geomantic powers. Cloaked in thorns, the Downs are a sacred burial ground of the Quillbore. This labyrinth was once the heart of the Quillbore race and their cherished capital, but it has now fallen under the grip of the Scourge. The Quillbore, lured by promises of mastery over death, became unwitting pawns in the Lich King's malevolent plot. Under the chilling leadership of the Lich Amnena, the Coldbringer, the Scourge has taken hold, transforming the place into a bastion of undeath. Today, these hallowed grounds, afflicted by the dark designs of Chalga, are waiting to be restored to their original state. The Razorfen Kraal and Razorfen Downs offer rich rewards to those bold enough to challenge it. Should you seek a true trial of courage, this is your proving ground, a place where the ultimate challenge awaits, including the confrontation with the Lich Amnena himself. As we prepare to bid farewell to the savannas of the Barons, the distant clang of armor and the cheerful chatter of fellow adventurers on the southern gold road welcomes us. This pathway stretches before us, bathed in the golden hues of the setting sun, aptly named for the valuable caravans that traverse it. This isn't just a road, it's a lifeline connecting far-flung corners of Azeroth. On this journey, we pass a multitude of travelers, from grizzled traders to eager young adventurers, all with their eyes set on the opportunities of the horizon. Our path leads us along the winding curves of the road, the air filled with tales of treasures from the Tanaris Desert to the ancient forests of Darkshore. As we approach the Great Lift, the excitement grows. The towering form of transport, a marvel of engineering, stands ready to ferry adventurers to the Thousand Needles. We board with a sense of anticipation, knowing that beyond the lift lies a new chapter in our adventure, a land of towering mesas and hidden mysteries. With the sun setting behind us, we conclude our journey through the vast lands of the Barrens. From the lively savannas and oases to the heart of Razorfen Kraal, the story of the Barrens is one of challenge, but also of potential. As adventurers, You've overcome the challenges of this land, revealing its mysteries and securing its hidden treasures. Guiding you through this remarkable journey as the lawkeeper of the Barrens has been a privilege I hold dear. Farewell, brave explorers. Until next we meet.